Hey, what's up, guys? Back again. So this is going to be the first episode for our Java FX tutorial series. Um, so the first thing we need to do before we start coding and all that fun stuff is actually install a few things. You know, get a few things set up and all that. In case you haven't done that yet, because um, it can be pretty confusing to do it with Java FX. It's you know kind of confusing. It took me a while to figure out. So I'm going to show you the best way to do it. So the first thing you want to do is get an IDE or a integrated development environment so that you can begin coding. You, I'm assuming you probably already have one if you know Java, and I'm assuming you know Java if you're doing this tutorial series, because um, you're going to need to know it. Um, so yeah, if you, I'm assuming you have one, but it's better to just show you real quick what you I recommend that you use. So you can go to IntelliJ, just search IntelliJ, and click this first link here. And this here is going to be the best Java IDE out there right now. Okay, it's like really good. Um, so make sure you download this and install it. So just click download, and then there's two versions you can download. You can download the ultimate version, which is going to come with some extra options like Java EE and some other stuff if you're interested in doing that. Or you can get the free version, which is the community version. Um, it has everything. If you want to do the community version, that's perfectly fine for what we're doing the, um, for this series here. Java FX is definitely included within the community version, so you can do that. But if you want the ultimate version and you don't want to pay money, then all you got to do is provide your college email or EDU email to the to the website, and it'll give you it for free, basically, assuming you're in a, a school or something like that. Okay. But if you're not, then you you have to pay. Okay. So yeah, just go ahead and install this, and just you know do everything you need to do to install it and then you'll be good to go. All right, so the next thing we need is a Java development kit so we can actually code in Java. So since we're working with the latest version of Java FX in this tutorial series, um, we're working with Java FX 12. Let's get the latest version of Java. I mean, it's always good to have the latest version of Java. So just go ahead and search Java JDK and then click the full search Java JDK 12 and then click the first one here. And then you, all you got to do is go down here, accept license agreement, and then click the one for your system, okay? I'm running a 64-bit um, Windows system, so just click this one here. It's a .exe file, and then just follow the install process. It's very simple, very standard. So just install that, and you'll be good to go. So you have these two things now. You have the um, integrated development environment, and then you have Java itself. So the last thing you're going to need is JavaFX itself, because um, JavaFX at one point was included within the Java programming language, or the API, but it's been removed since, so now it's part of a different um, separate J uh, SDK, you know, so we have to download it separately, okay? So just go ahead and search Java FX 12, and let's see, we need to find the website. So it's openjfx.io, so it's basically controlled, um, well, it's managed by the OpenJFX open source uh, SDK or whatever, or OpenJDK, that's the name of the SDK that is included with this and all that. Just a bunch of crap. So we just need to come here. This is the main website for the Java FX 12 and the other versions. Um, so we need to download it, of course. So click download here. It's going to take you to the download page. And so since we're going to be developing on the latest version, scroll down here to latest release, not the long term term support. This is the latest stable release, basically, or whatever you want to call it. But this is the latest release itself, like the actual latest. I guess, whatever. So just click the download button for whatever version you need. So I'm going to do JavaFX Windows SDK because I'm on Windows. So now it's going to download that for me. And so we can go back here to the main website and we can see a bunch of information. We can see uh, the community stuff. There's a bunch of tools that we can use in the future for working with JavaFX. We'll get to that at some point. Then we have the uh, Java Docs, you know, the documentation. So that's very useful in case you like doing that. Um, then we have some quick tutorials here. So this is one of the tutorials we're going to be using here. Um, so if we go down to JavaFX and IntelliJ, this is exactly the part we need. We're just going to follow this. I'm going to show you it. So yeah, so what we're going to do first is wait for this to be done. So click this and it's going to open up. Um, by the way, you need um, to open zip files. You need something called a Win WinRAR. It's a program that opens zip files for you. Assuming I'm assuming you have that. Most everyone has it. But make sure you download this if you're unable to open this file here, okay? Alright, so it opened up here, our zip file that we just downloaded. So now what we need to do is find a place on our computer to store this file. It doesn't actually matter where you put it, just remember where you put it. Because we're going to need access to that file in a second when we open IntelliJ. So first, just find a place. I put it in here. I have two versions. I have 11 and 12. So I did, all you got to do is drag and drop it into wherever you want to put it and then just remember where it is, okay? So now we can make our first JavaFX program, assuming you did all of that stuff. So you're probably not going to see anything like this. This is just a, you know, a program I had open recently or previously. So what you want to do is create a new project. So new project. 
and we're going to make a new JavaFX project. Um, so you're probably going to have Java selected here. If you've done nothing else, that's pretty advanced. So just click JavaFX here, and this is going to be where you make your JavaFX application. Okay. So make sure this is selected like it is. And then also select your project SDK, okay? If you don't have anything here, if you don't have any of the versions, um, just click new and then find it within your file structure, okay? Um, usually it's going to find it automatically for you, then just click whatever version and click OK. And so it, then you just select it here like I do, okay? So after that, just click next, and then you can name your project, whatever you want to name your JavaFX application. So I'm going to call mine YouTube Setup, okay? Just like that, because of course we're setting up a YouTube. Um, or whatever you you get the point so just click finish when you're done and now it's you can choose whether you want to open this up in a new window or the or yeah new window or this window so I'm done with this project for now so I click this window and it's gonna open that up for me okay so just make this full screen and it's gonna load everything for you it's already done so open this up here so we can see what files we have and so we have a few files here we have the main file here the more well, the main class and then we have a bunch of stuff here. We have a bunch of errors, it looks like, because it cannot resolve some symbols. And we have a controller file here. So this is just a simple template that um, IntelliJ IDEA gives you to work with for jo uh, simple JavaFX applications. It's just a template. So we're not going to be working with this um, yet because I'm going to show you the basics before we uh, you know, start using the template. So we see the errors here. This is because we have not imported the JavaFX SDK that we just downloaded from the internet. Or JDK, I forgot which one you would call it. Probably SDK. Um, so we just go here to project structure and then now um, we go to libraries and then click the plus button here and we're going to add a new um, library okay so API basically so just find wherever you stored the file I'm going to find mine I clicked it I stored it here so I'm going to click this and then open it up and then go ahead and click the lib folder it stands for library so click the lib folder and then click OK so if we did that correctly just click OK again and then click apply so it you know applies everything so now just click OK and then everything should be loaded in all the errors should be gone so we should be good to go pretty much almost okay so if we want to see if this works or not to see if we're done just click play and now it's going to run the application for us so we have a problem here this seems to happen whenever you're working with JavaFX 12 no problem it says um, JavaFX runtime components are missing and, and are required to run this application this is because JavaFX is not included in Java itself, so we need to import it within our um, configuration here. So go to this thing here and then do edit configurations, or you can just go to run and then do edit configurations, okay? So now we need to specify some VM options. So all we gotta do here, so all we gotta do here is go back to the little tutorial that I showed you a second ago and scroll down a little bit, and we can just copy and paste these VM options. So I'll copy this go back to your IntelliJ and then paste it in the VM options um, thing here in this little window but before we are done here we need to specify the path so we have a little path here so we just need to change that to the actual path to our SDK like we did a second ago so just go ahead and open this up here and then go to lib wait do we need lib yeah we need lib so um, go to your lib folder and then just click up here and then just control C to copy that path and then you can go back here and be careful don't delete anything you don't want to delete so just delete this template here and then paste that in so now we put the correct path for where we stored our SDK for JavaFX so now it knows to where to look for these modules that it's missing okay that's what the error was it wasn't able to find these two modules here controls and, uh, and FX uh, ML okay so just click apply and now it's going to load everything in so now we can rerun this and we should see a window pop up if it worked correctly and boom we get a window this is our first JavaFX application we were successfully able to make our own GUI I know some people call it GUI some people call it GUI by the way but I'm going to just call it GUI because I'm cool um, so anyway we have our first little window here that's really cool the first time you see that I bet you're pretty proud of that but yeah this is the thing we're going to be working with um, you know obviously to make GUIs with you know we can put stuff inside of the window and that's going to be in the future episodes okay so stay tuned for all of that um, so this is pretty much it for the first episode I showed you how to install all the stuff you need how to install the SDK so just don't forget every time you make a new JavaFX application you need to install I mean add the library to your um, project and then also add those VM options I showed you how to add a second ago okay just don't forget any of that if you have any questions about what I showed you today, just ask a question in the comment section below. I know you might come across a few problems. Or even better, you can join our Discord uh, server. We have a Discord server. The link is in, in the description for you. So click the link and then join it. You can ask questions there or you can hang out with us, anything you want to do. Yeah, so that's it. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.